In this tutorial, I'm going to show how to export data from a DinoJet data file uh, and convert it to Microsoft Excel format, import it into Microsoft Excel, and graph the data. First, what we're going to do is we're going to load our Dino file. So we're going to open a file. In this case, we're going to choose Run File Number 15. Click, highlight the file, click Open. And before we export it, um, we need to understand something about the export process. When we export the data, it's going to export it, uh, the exact data that we see on the screen, and it's going to export it in the format that we see on the screen as well. And in this case, the format is right now, it's the correction factor is selected for SAE. We want to change this to uncorrected for our example. The reason we want it uncorrected data is because the spreadsheet that I am going to show you has all of the dyno correction formulas built into it. So once we export the data uncorrected, we can use that spreadsheet to convert uh, and view the graphs in all the different uh, dyno correction formulas. The next thing, uh, since it only uh, the export process will only export the data that we see here on the screen, we need to get the data that we want to export. When we open this file, it comes up uh, with the horsepower graph. We want to add torque to that. So click on the right side of your screen over here, way over to the right where it says none right now. Click on that none, and a little menu will come up. We're going to select torque. Then down at the bottom, we want to uh, use RPM, engine speed, instead of speed. So we're going to click on that speed um, icon right there and we're going to change that to engine speed and that will change it to RPM. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is right now we're only showing um, horsepower and torque. We also want to add uh, AFR which is air fuel ratio and we want to add a boost as well. Now understand when we do this it will export in the exact order of the graphs that are going to appear on the screen. And up in the upper left-hand corner of the DinoJet software, you can see uh, a little series of graphs here. The middle one shows a single graph. This, uh, the middle icon shows a single graph. It says click here to show one graph. The next one over to the right shows two graphs, and the third one shows three. We're going to select three. Then just like we did earlier, we're going to put our mouse over on the None button, and we're going to choose AFR for air fuel. That brings us an air fuel graph. And then on the bottom uh, graphlet, we're going to choose boost. Okay, now we're ready to export the data. The way we export the data, we go back up to the upper left corner of the software and we click File, Export Data, and we want to export the data uh, every 10 RPMs, if, um, and we want to uh, export it in comma format. So you'll notice the export options up in the upper right uh, hand of this tab of this uh, dialog box. The default is tab. We want to change that to comma because we are going to export what's called a comma separated file. Then down at the bottom, the step size, that's the engine speed. We want to change that. The default is every 100 RPMs. We would like to change that to every 10 RPMs. So, the way we do that is we choose the bottom right option and we enter in our own value. If, a, if 0.01 .01 is not in this screen, highlight whatever is there and type in 0.01. .01. Once you've changed the, uh, the step size to 0 .01, 0 0.01, we're going to click the export button. And we're going to save it in this case in our temp folder. There's already a file there. We are going to override it. And that's all there is to exporting the data. Now I'm going to show you how to import the data into Microsoft Excel. I've already created a spreadsheet for this purpose uh, that will show uh, where to import the data and has automatically generated graphs. I'm not going to show off the advanced features of this spreadsheet in this tutorial. Instead, I'll do that in a second tutorial showing the more advanced options of graphing dyno charts in Microsoft Excel. First, let's start by opening Excel. Click the Start button, and I just type in Excel. Okay, I'm going to 
go to my uh, spreadsheet that I created uh, for this tutorial and you notice it's empty right now there's two tabs at the bottom there is a tab called DJ data export and then the, if we click on the second tab we will see that it's called run file 001 and there's some empty graphs in there uh, we're gonna click back on the DJ data export and next we're going to open the data file that we just created exporting from uh, the DinoJet software we're gonna go to our hard drive into our temp directory you notice nothing shows up we know the files there but it doesn't show up the reason it doesn't show up is because right now Excel is looking only for Excel files. You see in the bottom right corner here there's a menu tab selected that says Excel, all Excel spreadsheet, uh, all Excel files. If we change that to just all files, then you'll see that it opens up. So we're going to highlight it, we're going to click open, and a dialog box comes up that uh, gives us a little Im a wizard to import the data. The data, if you remember, we saved it in a comma format. That's called delimited. So we want to leave that checkbox up, checkbox saying delimited. Let's just click next. But the default was tab. We are not tab delimited. We are comma delimited. So we're going to check the comma uh, box there, and we are going to uncheck the tab box, and then we're going to click finish. And our data is right there. Before we can move this data over to our Excel spreadsheet, we need to look at the file to see if it has any bad data in it. Now, you, we can see some bad data right here, right at the very top. Um, but we need to, if that's the only data that's bad there, uh, then we can just graph around it in our Excel spreadsheet. But if there's other bad data right in the middle of, the, of this data set, then we need to remove it. So we're going to scroll down through the data set looking for any bad data and let's see yep there's a few entries right there okay now that we know that there's bad data in it we're going to highlight the entire data including the empty column a let's start at the title line the header you know of the uh, the title bar of the data and we're just going to highlight it all down don't worry if you go sideways a little bit we can we can get there at the very end okay now that we've got the the data highlighted we're going to unclick it it should be now it's now it's all selected we're gonna go back up to the top and uh, up at the top menu bar you'll see a bunch of tabs and we are going to select the data tab right now we're on the home tab we're gonna select the data tab and then we're gonna select the sort icon right in the middle of the screen there and what we're going to do is if if you uh, since we highlighted the data with the headers on it that's that uh, part at the top there um, we want to make sure this box is checked because if it's unchecked we're going to sort our own headers out of the data but we don't want to do that we want to say my data has headers and then we're going to sort by horsepower we're gonna bring that down and we're gonna go in this case we're gonna go largest to smallest because that's gonna put the bad data right at the very top where we can get it easily click on OK and you notice we have all the data the bad data including right at the top so uh, make sure that we don't select our header because we're going to use that a little bit later but make sure we don't select our header and let's just highlight the bad data just like that once we've highlighted it we right click um, the way we highlighted it was by clicking in the row column and just uh, holding down the left mouse button and scrolling down until just the highlight just the bad data is highlighted we right click the mouse until another menu comes up and we just say delete and it's gone. Next we need to unsort the data. We need to sort, put it back in its original order. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to highlight all the data including the headers itself. And this time when we click sort we are going to choose the S column. That's, that stands for seconds. That's really it was in time. And we are going to change, we are going to sort it smallest to largest. Click OK and boom we are done okay so now we're ready to move this data over to our our main Excel spreadsheet the one that we're going to use in this tutorial the easiest way to move it over is we're going to highlight it all at once um, and we do that uh, by noticing that right to the left of 
the A column and right above the first row, right in that corner there, the one that should be changing color, we, we can click on that little box. And when we click on it, it highlights the entire worksheet. And next what we want to do is we want to copy it. So let's go back to the Home tab and let's select Copy. And now we've copied the entire data. So let's switch back over to our spreadsheet, um, our example spreadsheet. And we are going to, this is the How To spreadsheet. And making sure that we are on the DJ Data Export tab down at the bottom there. Let's select the top left corner, and then all we have to do is click the Paste, and we've pasted all our data. The last thing we want to do before we're ready to graph it, before we're ready to put it in the graph area, is we want to add the RPM data in a format that we recognize. The RPM data is actually already here in column C, but it's RPM times, you know, 100, or times 1,000. So we want to, over, over in column A, we're going to add the formula to convert that. And the way we do that is first let's click on that, uh, click on that first box there uh, in column A, the first row with the data, and we're going we're gonna to type in the formula to convert it. It's real simple. You just type equals 1,000 star, star is the symbol for multiply in Excel, and then move your mouse over to that same row in column C and press your left mouse button and you'll notice that C8 appears in the first column and then that's it. Click it, hit enter and you notice over in uh, the first column we have the RPM data now. Next we want to copy it. We want to copy this formula all the way down to the bottom and that's real easy to do also. Now that we have the the um, cell selected, we can make sure we select the cell. You notice that little box, that square box in the bottom right corner of the cell. Put your mouse over that box until it changes to a very small square, a, a very small cross. Click your left mouse button and then drag that. You're dragging the formula, you're copying that formula all the way through the entire spreadsheet. Wait till you get to the bottom and then relief, release your left mouse button and then we're there. Okay, now that we've got the data in the spreadsheet, all we need to do is copy it to the graph, uh, the graph area. So we're going to copy it headers and all, just like we did before. We're going to highlight the whole area, headers and all. We're going to select copy. Then down at the bottom, we're going to change tabs. We're going to go to the Run File 001 tab. We're going to put our mouse up in the upper left corner, row 1, column A. We're going to select it and then just click Paste. And you notice when we did that, the graph automatically showed up. That's because all the formulas to create the graph were already there. Okay, so that concludes this tutorial of how to export data from a DinoJet data file and import it into Microsoft Excel and uh, graph it. Uh, at the next tutorial, I will show some advanced uh, graphing options for graphing dyno charts in Microsoft Excel, including calculating and displaying the area underneath the curve of either horsepower or torque. Okay, uh, if you wait till the end of the video, you will see a link to my website. Um, to where you can uh, download this spreadsheet. And uh, I even though these examples are all BMW cars, if you want to play with more BMW dyno graphs, you, there are hundreds of dyno graphs available, hundreds of dyno files available online at my dyno database uh, website, which is www.s65dynos.com. That's www.s65dynos.com. Thank you for watching.